everyone, I'm Kristen Herzog and welcome to this episode of So I Married a Mennonite. As you know, I have a huge heart and passion for education and gainful employment for Haitians. Well, today we are not in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. We are in Sarasota, Florida, where what is happening here is a collective of Amish, Mennonites and others coming together to raise funds at the Florida Haiti Benefit Auction. This is a huge endeavor here. There are hundreds of people here from Ohio, Indiana, Florida, Pennsylvania, Kansas, and so many other places to help raise these funds. Let's take a look. I have heard a lot of country auctioneers in my day of being married to a Mennonite, but this guy, he sounds like a country singer who's playing the banjo. Listen to this guy. This guy is a rock star. He should be on the top country music charts for America. For those of you who watch our show, there is Sam Clement Eby, who is working next to the best auctioneer I've ever heard. Sam made that tomato sauce with me that was a complete train wreck, and he was at the tractor auction. Well, he flies down to Sarasota, Florida every year in order to clerk or to track where the money goes how much money stuff is sold. He's just a class act, that Sam Clement E.B. Check out that episode on the tomato sauce. It'll change your life. Yeah, where are you guys from? Oh, an hour. You're an hour from here? Yeah. Where are you from originally? I grew up there. Really? I was born in Sarasota Hospital. Just because Arcadia didn't have a great hospital. Really? Yeah. What version of Mennonite are you guys? Holdeman. Holdeman, Mennonite. Holdeman. Okay, I think we have them in Pennsylvania. Yeah. yeah. Chippensburg and... Yes. Chambersburg, I think, has one. So what, which make, model, and SKU number? So what's the, what's the highlight? So you drive cars, yeah? yeah? Yeah. But you don't have YouTube on your phone, so there's limit. We have like church, a church filter on our phone, basically. Church filter. Right. What are you allowed to have and not have? Well, like um, any of the main social media sites, not. So Facebook? No. No? Oh. Basically, it just comes up with that if you try to look YouTube up. Oh, wow. Cloudvale. Okay, yeah. yeah. Oh, what's the name of that magazine we get? The, the Beaver? The Busy Beaver. Okay. Do you know about that? It's like, the, it, I get it once a week. It's like this thick and it's like all like farmy stuff. And like, you know, if you're looking for cows, call Aaron Zook at this number, you know, this kind of stuff. And and I see that Cloudvale thing sometimes comes up as like, if you have Cloudvale, you can't see that thing. So you have to call that number instead. Cars, do they have to be black? No. No like, black? Generally, generally, we don't have like red. Okay. Like a bright, flashy color. Okay. No uh, Lexus. Um, older Lexuses, really? but not. Oh, okay. No. It's generally just styled toward the more modest side of cars. Yeah. Right, which makes not sense. Just draw attention. Modesty, simplicity, and economy is kind of. Yeah, if it's too oh. expensive. Yeah, for, for a lot of things. Modesty, simplicity, economy. Economy. For our dress, our. Yeah. Our you guys, you made yours? No. Yeah. You made it? Yeah. You make, all of you make your clothes? Yeah. Your, no, your mom made that one. Yeah. Okay, so same thing though. Yeah. yeah. But you guys are kind of modern though too. Like yeah. I was admiring your boots, for example, and I thought I would want them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're cute. Yeah, we definitely can, like we can go out. Like we go shopping at the mall and like. Wow, like, interesting. Like, music or watch movies necessarily. No music at all or certain types of music? No um, recorded or like, 
Like no worldly music, no recorded. What if it's like country music or like worship music? No. Really? Like our yeah, own. Services we sing. Like we have choirs for weddings and funerals. Oh, then that's interesting. And it's a cappella. Somebody will record it and then it will get sent around or something. But you no, know, like professionally recorded music, basically. So what do you do? You you have a good personality. What do you do for a job? Or are you in school? No, uh, my parents run four Airbnbs. You clean. Well, I clean one of them and then I help stock supplies and just keep them up and running, basically. Where are your properties at? In Arcadia. Oh, all four? Yep. In our okay. East of here. Okay. Yep. Yeah. We had a B and B in Pennsylvania, so I know your pain. <laughs> right? No, I'm serious. Like. I know. <laughs> okay. And what do you do? I'm a nanny for a family in town. Nanny. Okay. Are they brats? Oh, they're brats. No, they're not. <laughs> I clean offices. Clean offices. Okay, cool. So you guys are done with school. Am I allowed to talk to you two? Because you're kind of chill over here. <laughs> what do you What do you guys do for a job? In a bakery. In our kitchen. Oh, okay. That's cool. I work at the same place she does, and then I teach kindergarten in our private school. Ah. How many days a week is that? It's three. Three? Yeah. So you guys all have like pretty traditional occupations, right? I mean, kind of, but not not entirely. Did any of you ever go like to like school for like nursing or no. school? You we didn't go. Private school. Oh, eighth grade. And then if we want to, we can get our GED. Like she's working on her high school equivalency. Okay. What made you do that? Well, I am into civil graces training, so what? So if I want to go into that later, then I'll have my diploma. Yeah. That makes total sense. Yeah, and then just to fill my time, too. Yeah, you get bored quick. I do. I do, too. I totally get it. It's very interesting to see all the different types of plain people, you know? But the Amish on the tricycles, amazing. Nothing beats the Amish on the tricycle. That's the best. Who made that rule? <laughs> How did that happen? This is Food Alley. There is delicious Amish and Mennonite food on either side of this location. And I have to say, I have seen some real good PA Dutch favorites here. But one thing that's really interesting about this auction is that there are Mennonites and Amish from every single conference. And why that's interesting to me is because each one has their own different dress code different things that their church allows or doesn't allow. So I'm seeing, for example, head coverings from Kansas, Ohio, Indiana, Pennsylvania, and some I've never even seen before. So it's very interesting that all these people are coming together regardless of location, regardless of differences for this auction here. So the area where we are at right now is not far from the Mecca area of Sarasota, Florida, where many of the Amish and Mennonites live, and that is called Pinecraft. It's an area where there's a lot of small little houses and the Amish and the Mennonites live in huge amounts in that little area. There is a joke in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, that says, what happens in Sarasota stays in Sarasota. Kind of referring to the fact that when you're down here, there is a little bit more freedom and there's a little bit more of a relaxed vibe. Some even go so far as to call this the Amish Las Vegas. And the idea is that there is so many options down here and so many opportunities to connect with people who are different than you, to connect with people who come from different conferences. They might be Mennonite, be a totally different type of Mennonite than what your church is. And that can lend to some blurring of the lines. What do you think? When we arrived, one of my first destinations was to go to the ministry tent to learn about the organizations who were supported by this auction. Hey, ça va passer comment y est? Bonjour. Bonjour. Moi, elle est Christine. Christine. Oui. 
Etut? Lisnea. Lisnea? Oh, Echante. Yes. Uh, you work with this? Yes, I work for his share heating mission. Mm -hmm. It's located in the southern part of the I'm the field director. Yeah, where are you from? I am from Hitepe Fair. Okay. That's a town in the south coast. We have to eat in Port Prince, Akaye, Kisa. Then we have to eat in the Hitepe Fair. Uh huh. We have to eat in the Hitepe Fair. I miss it. Kansas. You're in Kansas? He lives in Kansas. Kansas. How long? One year. One year? Uno pale anglais? Un an in Kansas? It's okay. Muy content. How long ago did you guys found this? We started this in 2009, I would say, and the school is about seven years since we started started it. We went from there, we get involved in uh, education, uh, you know, uh, spiritual activity like seminar, pastoral training seminar, good. conference, uh, children conference and whatnot. Very good. So right now we have a school, we run a school, there's a church there to we have a school with about 350 students. So, so you have the school and you teach them agriculture, it looks like? Absolutely, yeah. Agriculture. Uh, it's not, they're selling the seeds now here. Watering. Yeah, harvesting. It's so, from the seeds to the table. Do you live in Haiti? I do. You do? Okay, full time? Pretty much. We come here for a visit. Right, right. Uh, maybe for a month, a couple of weeks at a time. Yeah, so obviously Port-au-Prince is very, for people that are American are fairly unsafe, and even for Haitians are unsafe. In the area that you're at, do you sense that unrest? Or is it a little bit safer in your area because you're out of the city? Fortunately, the way they present the insecurity, the chaos in Haiti, it's like it's over the whole Haiti. Yeah. Port of Prince is not heat. It's part of Haiti. Yeah. If you go to Haiti, you don't go to Port of Prince, you're fairly safe. But it's like if Port of Prince is struggling, the whole country struggles. Right. One of the defining qualities of the Amish and Mennonites is their willingness to serve the communities around them, from food pantries to helping their neighbors, and in some cases, like Haiti, reaching out to others who live far away and helping those in poverty to gain resources, skills, and employment opportunities. If you want to experience the wide variety and diversity that exists in the Amish and Mennonite communities and in the process fight poverty, then I invite you to come on down to Sarasota, Florida in the middle of January and experience the Florida Haiti Benefit Auction. Thanks for watching.